You probably noticed that in creation of looks, I also have been using lift, gamma gain, saturation and printer lights adjustments inside Colorlab to help finalize the look that I want. I want to now take you a little bit deeper into that subject and show you how you can use these tools also to entirely create your look just using them. So what we're going to do is we're going to again reset um, Colorlab plugin by using this icon here on the top. We're going to go select Alexa camera and then as a contrast, for example, I'm going to start with an S1. Basically, if we are using lift, gamma gain and printer lights and saturation inside Colorlab, we are achieving two things. Number one, we're using the power of Colorlab to manage color spaces for us. So what we did now is we have interpreted with the right camera input the gamut space of the camera and the gamma of the camera to my display space. And we have calibrated our output to be always at the rec 709. So now I'm going to use lift gamma again to help uh, create the look that I want, the exact look that I want, um, completely manually without any profiles. So uh, let's say, for example, I want to have a, something with a higher contrast. So I'm going to take my lift and I'm just going to reduce lift until I don't, you know, really, you know, get a nice and chunky blacks. But as you can see, Colorlab is always managing my output. So I'm never basically going to crash and lose my blacks. Then I'm going to go on to gain and I'm going to go do the gain in the opposite direction to increase the contrast to so basically I'm going to lift my highlights a little bit. So that's good. Then I'm going to open my gamma and just reduce it slightly. So there is good. We have a gamma here. And now we're going to go and have to go into printer light. So let's now increase slightly printer lights of red because I want to give it some warmth. So you see lovely, like I'm getting this beautiful warmth inside just by using printer lights. And then I'm going to go and tweak a little bit my primary color correction. So let's say, for example, I want to add a little bit uh, like a teal. So I'm going to lift my uh, green and my blue in my gamma. And I'm also going to do the same in my lift. There we go, like not too much, just a little bit like this. And then I'm also going to use my gain and just lift a little bit the red channel. So I bring some warmth into the skin. Maybe I can come back and, you know, increase a little bit these two. So they basically help me like with a little orange and tealy feel. So there you go. This is basically our, you know, you know nice, like in the direction of orange and teal warm look. But all I was doing is I was just using lift, gamma gain and printer lights. So you see, it's possible actually to create looks that are entirely yours. So the color palette that you can inject into an image are entirely your creation. But in addition, then using standard primary controls of DaVinci Resolve, you are also deploying the mathematics of Colorlab to create all the color transformation in order to be able to work in a color managed way.